Hi all, how are yous? Um, welcome to another video. I'm over here in INAV at the moment. Um, what I want to do, I my next my next uh, video I want to do with the Z84 here is a automated flight. So I'm going to try and set this up at the moment in INAV through Mission Control. The plan is to uh, set up the controller. I've already got that set up. I'll show you what I've done. Um, we'll plug in the, the craft to the computer here and create a mission in mission control and upload it to the to the flight controller and then um, obviously we'll take it to the field and give it a test flight. So let's jump into INAV and and see what we've got. Okay, so I've got the uh, I've got the machine plugged in here. Um, no batteries connected or anything. So what we'll do is um, I'll first connect. So we'll hit connect. Uh, disregard the way the craft is there. It's on a massive angle, sitting beside me here. Um, we're going to head into. Let's see. What we want to do is assign a switch to our Tyrannus. So I've got my uh, transmitter, my Tyrannus here, and we'll go into uh, the modes tab here, and what we'll do is we'll scroll down until, until we find nav waypoint, which is right here. So I've got mine selected already, I've already set this side of it up, so what you need to do is you'll have to plug in the battery, right? At this stage, if you haven't selected the, the switch, plug in the battery to your to your flight controller, power it all up, uh, head into the receiver tab here, and you need to find a switch right on your Tyrannus. Right, so I've I've got mine uh, set up to the SC switch here on the Tyrannus. So when I flick this down, this is channel nine on my receiver. Waypoint mission activated and I've added a voice command to that so I know that switch is my waypoint so that will toggle down um, to activate the the mission so first you need to decide what switch you want and assign a uh, assign a channel or sign the switch to one of the channels okay once you've done that you come back into the modes tab here and scroll down to Okay, nav waypoint. So you need to um, select your channel through here, whichever one you choose. I've chosen channel 9, which, uh, like I said, is my S uh, SC switch on the Tyrannus. Um, so you want to activate your switch through here, and then uh, once that's done, uh, go hit the save button. Okay, which gets you out of there. Um, we'll head into the mission control here now. So this here on the map is my flying field. If we um, scroll in, this is where I fly here. So what we want to do is, first we want to just set up some settings. So here's your set this is your settings tab here, the little cog wheel. So you click that. Um, I've got my altitude set to 5,000 centimeters, so I don't know why that. Why they do centimeters? Why not just make it meters? Let's just make it easier. So 5,000 uh, 5, centimeters is equivalent to 50 meters. So 50 meters is as minimum as you want for this. Um, your speed in centimeters per second. Again, why they why they use centimeters per second? Who uses centimeters per second? No one. Um, kilometers an hour or miles an hour would have been way better. From what I've read, this section works off your nav cruise. So you've also, just before we go any further, I'll just set you back here again uh, into the modes tab. You'll also need to set up nav cruise. Okay, I've got nav cruise set up to channel 8. So you need to set up nav cruise and assign a switch to that on your Tyrannus as well because that's what your waypoints apparently use from what I've read. That's how I'm doing mine anyway. So if there's any issues, I'll, I'll address all that in a future video. 
but that's how I've got mine set. I've got my nav crew set up to channel 8 and my nav waypoints to channel 9. Okay, so we'll create a small small flight. So what I want to do to start with, I'm, I'm going to be standing around here on my field. Um, so what I'll do is I'll set I'll set a, a waypoint to start with. You just click and I've got a waypoint set. So that'll automatically um, have an alt altitude of 5,000 centimetres or 50 metres because that's what we set here in the in the little um, settings tab here. I'll click another one down at the end of the airfield and then I'm going to make another one come around here and then what we'll do is whoops, move this up a little bit we'll click another waypoints tab there not sure what we'll do we'll come back to here and then I'll come back to home and what it'll do is fly in a circle above me here um, which uh, will be a 50 meter loiter radius which is what I've got set uh, in the in the flight control if we if we click on each of these waypoints here it brings up your altitude so you can adjust this so if I want it to be five to be 50 meters high here and then I want these two here to climb up to 50 to 100 meters or 70 it's just a matter of clicking on it and adjusting it to 70 and you click save okay I'm just going to keep it simple at the moment because it's flat. Okay, once that's all done and you're happy with all your settings, you've got your switches assigned, uh, you save the mission to the flight controller. Mission valid. Okay, so that's what we've done. Mission has been saved to the flight controller. Now, what we can do next, that's, that's saved to the flight control, so that's technically that's all ready to go um, once you get out to the field. If you end up going into any of these other tabs here, just to check certain things like your return to home or whatever you do, and then you come back into mission control again, you'll notice that the waypoints are all cleared. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, you just have to load mission from flight controller. It's already stored in your flight controller So if you click load mission from flight controller, there it is. It, it pops back in again Okay, so that's it's already installed the next step what you do um, And this is where I think a lot of people from what I've seen um, Have trouble so hopefully it's no issue you need to um, activate the mission before you arm the craft um, on the field plug it all in have it unarmed and then you've got to activate with the throttle down and your pitch up to top right like that okay so after you've done all that and you're happy it's saved um, and you're ready to go out like I am right now and you all should be too if you've followed um, you also have a little option here return to home at the end of the mission okay I'm not clicking that because I've got the plane coming back here on my last waypoint anyway and it will do a circle here 50 meters so if you want to check your loiter um, I'll show you where that is uh, head into uh, is it advanced tuning also you need to get into your nav cruise settings too just to check these if you've once you've got it set these are the um, the stock settings here 1400 cruise throttle 1200 minimum throttle 1700 max throttle um, from what I've been told it's um, that's satisfactory so that's I'm just leaving it as standard uh, there's your loiter radius of 50 meters 5000 centimeters again so it should um, it should technically come back so we start off here we double check it we got 50 meters at that waypoint 50 meters at that waypoint 50 at that 50 at that 50 at that 
and then it comes back home here with 50 and will circle until I'm ready to land it manually. So that's basically it. Um, we'll take it out of the field next and see how it performs and if it's successful and then we'll go from there on bigger missions. That's the plan. Hope you enjoyed, hope that was informative. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, bye for now.